Captain? We are creating a new way to fly. Better hurry. We're getting very close to... I was a mad Trekkie when I was a child. Yeah, my, my family uh, used to argue viciously over what channel we should watch. But back when I was young, there were only three channels in England, then four. Uh, but the one time we had no argument was when Star Trek was on. We all sat there, glued to it religiously. And, uh, and I guess there were repeats all the time because I know every episode by heart. The chair has such a weight of history. I try and stand up. The first few episodes, I don't think I even let my bum touch it. I try and stand in front of it, stand behind it, walk around the bridge and just avoid the thing. You know what we need to do? We need to win. That's a spirit. I think he's a very good wartime captain. Uh, he's, he's able to be as brutal as, and unsentimental as you want someone to be in those circumstances, which is why it's surprising when he's also sometimes sensitive and uh, takes a direction you, you don't expect. But um, you need different wartime leaders from peacetime leaders, and he's a good wartime leader. You chose to do the right thing. Being a great cost to yourself. The biggest picture of all is what's the point of Star Trek? Star Trek holds out a hope that we might find a better way. We might find a better way to work together and solve problems together. I'm a man with two daughters, yeah. I think it's incredibly important, A, for the world, and in my own little nuclear family, for my family to be able to look at stories reflecting back the way the world should be and the way the world can be, yeah. You helped start a war. Don't you want to help me end it? Don't know what to